welcome back to the Leshy Channel. There's a slight dip in the air, and the leaves have begun to take on that splash of color as they begin to fall. In Leshy country, that means just one thing. The squirrel rut is about to be in full swing. Even though we've lived through this many times before, at least for me, I'm always shocked at the amount of squirrels that seem to come from every nook and cranny within the oak canopy that surrounds my property. The yard, at this time, looks like it's moving as the squirrels bury nuts and battle for the best spots up in the tree. It's not just the squirrels though, the bullies are busy as well. So today, we're gonna thin the herd a bit. So sit back, grab your favorite fall beverage as we navigate a leshy six pack by handing out one-way tickets to Pound Town. The Leshy Channel presents Welcome to Pound Town, 762 millimeter tracers. It was one look out the window of my office and I could just tell it was going to be one of those busy days of squirrel smashing with very little work getting done. So I grabbed the 762 Lashy 2 short, got set up, and it wasn't more than a minute and this first one got the old double tap. That one barely hit the ground before I was hitting the record button on the GoPro again. So I'm running one of my favorite all-time scopes on this setup. It's the March Optics FX 45 by 28 with their high master glass. This is a handmade scope in a small factory in Japan. So while I have the Eagle Vision scope cam really dialed in for this incredibly clear footage that you're seeing, it does not do it justice with what you're going to see with the naked eye. This thing's absolutely incredible. So that's two down and I still haven't moved and they're both down there taking the room temp challenge below and this third guy came down to see what all the fuss was about. That was almost an unintentional double tap nut shot. Oof, that would have been brutal, especially if it was the other way around. All right, a quick announcement time, and this one's exciting. So if you caught the previous video, you saw me shooting the incredible semi-auto Steyr Pro X from my friends over at Airgun Sport. Well, I'm excited to announce that I'm going to be giving it away as part of the new Leshy logo merch drop. So I worked with a tattoo artist friend of mine on a new Leshy logo, uh, and it came out absolutely amazing. So the Leshy is the Slavic god of the forest, and it represents the outdoor lifestyle that I enjoy. The shirt and sweatshirt are live on my site now, and between now and January 15th, you will get an automatic entry to win the Steyr Pro X by purchasing one. You can enter as many times as you like, so if you grab a shirt and a sweatshirt, because you're awesome, uh, you'll get entered twice. Uh, I'll throw a link near the top of the description, as well as the pinned comment. So, thanks so much for your support, and I hope you guys enjoy the new design, and oh yeah, one more thing. So... I'll be announcing the winner on January 16th uh, via the official Egg Unleshy email that I use, and it'll be posted on the giveaway page on the website. Uh, so I need you guys to help me police this, though. Uh, if you see someone in the comments pretending to be me, and all they do is they just they change their little icon to a Leshy logo, and uh, they try to trick people. So if you see somebody pretending to be me in the comments and telling people that they won to detect some weird number... Please, please, please help me put those people on blast and call them out for being the dirtbag scammers that they are. All right, guys. Now let's get back to the video. Sometimes I just sit back and scratch my head at the level of infestation I have. So... Uh, I had just cleaned up those first few, and I was back in my office trying to get some work done. So I sat down, and I looked at the monitor, 
to see what I thought were two more that had come down, and they were fighting, it looked like. But uh, I was watching for a second as I loaded a couple more mags, and then I quickly realized, wait a second, they're not fighting. They're making more targets. So obviously I let them finish, but uh, I had all the targets I needed, so it was time to empty those mags I just loaded. Oof, almost a triple tap, so close. All kidding aside, here's the goal of a double tap. Two humane shots where each individually would be a clean kill. All right, that's five down. Time to go retrieve those two. But uh, turn everything off, and as soon as I stood up, I kind of noticed uh, a noise off to the right there. So as I stood up, I saw two just sitting on this kind of brick fence that we have here, and then another one went up the tree that's right next to me, and then I started to walk out here, and I'm just like, dude, this is crazy. I have so much work to do, but these critters are just everywhere. So I'm walking out, and what do I see? I see four more going up the tree. You see them running around here? Look, at, there's one just sitting there watching me. Jeez, there's still squirrels everywhere. Take a little break and uh, retrieve this pile of squirrels down here right now. If you listen carefully here, you can actually hear them barking from above. The bullies have been coming in hot and I smoked a big old raccoon with the Dirty 30. But before I show that, I keep uh, seeing people in the comments request that I do a little bit more of a rundown on the setups I'm using. So. Uh, here's a new build I just did. This is the 350 millimeter 25 cal Leshy 2 with the soon to be released quick detach behemoth silencer from Edgun West uh, and the ATM Thor 4 644 to 40 uh, thermal scope on top. And this thing is sick. So I've got the Vortex RMR running offset for those uh, those close love taps. Uh, what was that? A couple of years ago now. The hunting with Chupacabra or for Chupacabra. Oof. Ever since then, I always run something for close range, like at your feet sort of setups. And so that's why I got that on there. I'm also testing out this new light from Olight. And they sent me the handheld version called the Javelet Mini as well. So this thing has an insane thousand lumen, which is, I mean, that's bright. But what's really crazy about it is it's got a 600 millimeter throw. So this thing looks like a lightsaber. So the TAC version has a built-in M-Lock mount with an integrated Picatinny mounted remote switch. So uh, for some reason on YouTube, I can't show me installing this light because it's considered gun modding. So let me just snap my fingers and boom, here it is mounted. So I'm running their four grip from Olight as well, uh, which has an integrated light. Obviously it's a little overkill uh, from the light perspective, but I love the way that the Leshy 2 shoots offhand uh, using this. So it's just super comfortable and how it shoulders. So similar to the Javelet Mini, uh, this TAC version is a thousand lumens with that same incredible 600 meter throw. So I love the illumination pattern of this light. Uh, it has that super bright beam on the target and then a very crisp kind of secondary circle that gives, in my opinion, the ideal peripheral illumination around the target. So uh, Olight's actually having a flash sale at the time of this video and both of these lights are included in that sale. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check them out. Because of the behemoth silencer, I can run this thing all night long on the rats, but still have plenty of power for a bully. Typically, I have turned like a rat gun way down uh, so that it can be super quiet at night where sound travels a lot more, uh, especially when it gets colder. But anyways, uh, this behemoth silencer is absolutely incredible, and uh, I'm able to run a lot more power, uh, certainly overkill on the rats, but I'm able to run that power and... Just in case I run into a bully, uh, I have a gun already in my hands that's already set to go. And that's exactly what happened. I was drilling these rats, and it's just like a dinner bell for possums and occasionally raccoons. Sure enough, shortly after I got these guys, a big old raccoon came in for a little meal. So I have two rigs uh, ready at night. So I started, in this case, I grabbed a 30, the Dirty 30 uh, with the ATN Excite 
uh, 4K Pro on top, which is night vision. So it was just super humid out that night. Uh, and um, you know what? Like night vision is just way better in humidity than thermal. So that's what I went with. Once he licked that bowl clean, he came down. And he definitely spotted me as I flicked off the safety. But he looked away, and I settled into the gun and gave him the old leshy kiss. Oof, that first one definitely anchored him. But I always throw a couple more just for good measure. These are just the nerves. I always get comments about that, like it's suffering or something. Those are just the nerves, guys. And as you see, it's done. I then grabbed the thermal and I walked out. I knew this guy was done, uh, but I thought I heard another. So I'm sitting here just kind of coming around this corner going, I don't know. Again, I got PTSD from that uh, two Halloweens ago. Speaking of which, I did hear another coon up in the tree. But we're going to pick up that story as part of next week's Halloween special. Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started.